Oh, heavens, it's good to be home. It's good to see you here. I pulled into the parking lot with Matthews as we drove in tonight, and he said, look at the throng. <laughs> he said, I think I'll preach. <clears throat> and I said, um, Matthews, I hope it doesn't hurt your feelings, but uh, I don't think they came to hear you preach. <laughs> so shut up. But anyhow, he, he took it in a good spirit, and we're still friends. It is really good to be here. I don't know of a place I'd rather be than uh, in Waco at 7th and James Baptist Church. This was my college church. As I was saying, I've had most of my fun in church. I really haven't gone much of any place else. You know, I grew up in a Baptist church back in the 50s when they believed if they could keep you at church, you wouldn't have time to sin. So like most Baptists my age, I learned to sin at church, <clears throat> which was... <laughs> from experts, <laughs> which is the best way to do anything. Well, I came from uh, Jacksonville, Texas over here as a sophomore. I'd actually spent my first year at Wayland College out in Plainview and then transferred here and uh, got to Baylor University and got into all the stuff that was going on here. But at Wayland, I was on partial scholarship in the Wayland International Choir. In fact, this summer we just had a reunion of our old choir members in Dallas with our former director and had about 35 of us back in. It was a blast. Got to remembering and reminiscing over all kinds of crazy things that happened out there. Well, I went to Wayland with my closest friend from home, Elmore Avery. A-V-E-R-Y-T, Elmore Avery. Funny, funny, funny guy. Avery was a bass in the quartet. He was on full scholarship. I was a tenor and on partial scholarship because my voice hadn't settled. <laughs> they didn't know where I was going to wind up yet. <clears throat> Well, anyhow, we got to Wayland, and Elmore and I went to be in the choir, and we were absolutely crazy about the four freshman modern airs Stan Kenton type close knit, smooth moving harmony. We just love that stuff that, you know, and you didn't wind up a song with just put on, put on. You wound it up with, you know, a lot of flutter and quiver. That was important. Well, Avery and I used to do that on everything hymns, you know. Sing Happy Birthday, you in the dining hall. We'd all go, ooh, 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 you know, just move around and do weird things with your voice. People sit there and hit you with the back of hymn books in church, and, you know, quit that, quit that. You know, we'd say, ooh, ooh to them. You know. 